This might be my board right here. I just decided this is my setup. Are these the biggest upgrades for your board? Yeah, let's talk about it. So when we came out with the One Wheel GTS series, we came out with the first performance oriented motor. This is the GTS series motor and it comes in every single GTS series board stock. Now, the cool thing about it is that you can also put a GTS series motor inside of a One Wheel GT and upgrade your motor. But that's not all. Now with the One Wheel XR Classic, you can actually put the One Wheel GTS series motor inside of that as well to upgrade your specs. Friends, we have a Pint S series motor as well. And you can upgrade any board on the Pint line by putting this into it. Oh yeah, dude, this feels like a completely different board. Okay, so the question is, what's actually different with these motors, what's going on here? And what does that mean for your board and your riding? Now, these motors are completely redesigned, okay? So everything is different from the electromagnetics, the magnets, they're stronger, they're more durable, the way that they manage heat, everything about them is completely redesigned. What they're gonna do in a nutshell at a high level is they're gonna give you more torque. Now, if you ride one wheels, you know, Torque is super important in all kinds of situations, whether that's low speed or climbing hills or just riding over rough terrain. So the question then becomes, how much more torque are we talking about here? Didn't even buzz at me. Picked me up just fine and then I stopped going from a stop. Uh, it worked just fine. The other one dragged the nose uh, and then trying to accelerate it beeped a little bit, but a lot less. All right, folks. We're in the data portion of the program. So I'm gonna go grab this handy whiteboard. Let's break it down. So we plotted each of these boards stock with their stock motors on the old dyno against each of these boards with their upgraded motors on the old speed torque curve, okay? So what they all generally look like is this here sketch that I did. Now, the stock board extends out here for a period of time, and then it kind of comes down a, at a 45 degree angle or so. And the upgraded motor boards extend out for a farther period of time, and then they also come down in a similar fashion. Now just note that once you get past a certain point on these graphs, this is actually not usable data because one wheels can't actually go this fast uh, with a rider on it, right? So we're not, we're not riding out here. Um, but what this shows us is that most of the benefit from swapping your motor is gonna happen in here, okay? So this is the low end in the mid range portions of speed, right? So from let's say zero to seven or eight miles an hour, that's where you're gonna get most of your benefit in terms of increasing your max torque. Now, in terms of each board, what does that look like? Well, when you upgrade your Pint by putting the Pint S series motor in, it actually provides an 8% increase in maximum torque. When you upgrade your Pint X or your Pint S, it's gonna provide a 12% increase in maximum torque. Now, you might say, Jack, 8%, that doesn't sound like that much. Well, the context is very important, right? If you go from riding a pint to a pint X or a pint S, do you know what that percentage increase is in maximum torque? This difference right here is 5%. Now, if any of you have ridden both these boards, you know that that is completely noticeable in terms of the power difference between riding a pint and riding a pint X or a pint S. So 5% is very significant. So now, if you're putting an upgraded motor in your pint, you're actually turning your pint into a pint X or pint S and then some. You get three extra percentage points of power there. If you're upgrading your pint X or S, you're over doubling the difference between a pint and a pint X or pint S, okay? If we go down to the larger platform boards, you're gonna actually experience um, even more of a, of a difference. So with the GT, you're gonna see an 11% increase the biggest difference is actually, folks, with the old XR Classic, okay? A whopping 14% increase in maximum torque. So your, your larger platform boards generally have a little bit more 
um, of a benefit in terms of upgrading the motor. But there's one more very important piece of context for you. And that's that we're talking about maximum torque here, okay? Now you're not riding at maximum torque all the time. In fact, you ride at maximum torque very seldomly. You're gonna experience maximum torque when you're accelerating from zero, when you're going uphill, if you're riding off road and you're trying to get over a rut or something like that. You hear the motor go, Rah, right? That, those are those max torque moments. You're gonna experience those moments much more frequently when you're on your pint and your pint X or S because those boards have less torque standard, right? So while this area might be smaller on your pint and your pint X or pint S, you're gonna be experiencing it more than you would on your XR Classic or your GT. Okay, so hopefully that was a helpful breakdown. Let's go outside and let's go experience what that actually feels like in the real world. I'm gonna take these up this hill. This is the regular Pint S and then this is an upgraded Pint X. So I'm not the heaviest rider and so all of these boards are gonna get me up the hill. But one thing that I noticed is I hit that torque pushback pretty easily. Definitely feeling some of that that torque push back immediately, especially whenever I stop in the middle of the hill and then I try to start accelerating. And so we'll switch over to the Pine X and we'll see the upgraded Pine X and we'll see how that one does. So immediately what I notice is I'm not hitting torque push back on this one nearly as easily as I was on that regular Pine S. And I can accelerate up this hill fairly quickly. So with that one, I immediately noticed that I didn't have to feather the front of it nearly as much. It was pretty easy to get up that hill and it does feel stronger as you push it up the hill. You have a little bit more acceleration in there, it feels like. Yeah, for me as someone above 200 pounds, that's not like any pint I've ever um, ridden before. That is significant. So we got an XRC with a standard motor and an XRC with a S series motor. We'll see if we can tell the difference on this hill. So it climbs pretty easily. It's beeping a little bit when I accelerate. I wonder if I stop, go from a stop. Oh yeah, struggles quite hard. <laughs> Sweet, well this one got up the hill just fine, but every time I went to accelerate or I I uh, tried to start from a stop on the hill. Uh, it struggled quite a bit. Oh, I can't even get it to honk. Oh, a little bit there. Well, I beat an old cyclist up the hill, so it's gotta be pretty strong. No, yeah, at first, it didn't even buzz at me. Picked me up just fine, and then I stopped going from a stop. Uh, it worked just fine. The other one dragged the nose, uh, and then trying to accelerate, it beeped a little bit, but a lot less. Okay, so I have not ridden this either. Silvas has been riding this for a long time, so I'm gonna give you my first thoughts too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. Whew. This might be my board right here. Wow, this feels freaking phenomenal. I just decided this is my setup. So if you're someone who's riding a pint, which you know you paid seven hundred fifty dollars for, does it make sense to buy a motor that almost costs the same as your board? Maybe not, you know, it depends on if, if you love that experience and you really want to maximize it. I will say on the Pint X and the Pint S, putting this motor in there really makes that board shine. Uh, you know, I had a ton of fun riding that earlier. It really takes it to that next level. Um, and then the XR Classic with the GTS series motor is an absolute joy to ride. Uh, to me, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, if you want to maximize the performance on that board, this is a, a great option for you there. And I think one more thing that's worth mentioning is that that in order to create a super premium motor, 
it's quite expensive uh, for us to build and design and develop. So um, that's why the only board that comes with a GTS series motor in it already is the GTS series, which costs about $3,000, right? Uh, you are paying for that performance. And for a lot of people, they're happy to do that because that experience is absolutely awesome. If you've ridden a GTS series, you know what I'm talking about. It's, a, it's incredible. And so the other boards, they don't come with S-Series motors in them, in part because it's really costly, right? And so we want to make that your decision. If you value performance at that type of a level, you can go ahead and buy one of these motors and put it in your board, whether you have a pint, which costs $750 in the first place, um, or up to a you know XR Classic or a GT. So if you're interested in upgrading your motor, we have videos that show you exactly how to do that. It's not too hard, so go ahead, we'll link those below and you can check those out. You know, take take it for what it's worth and, and make your own decision in terms of how much you value performance, but these options are available to you at onewheel.com. So thanks for tuning in, y'all. See you on the next one.